<laughs> I quit. <laughs> Welcome gentlemen and gents, it's time for another exciting chapter of the Mia Khalifa Chronicles where we document the real-time train wreck of the adult film heretic turned wannabe social media influencer Mia Khalifa. The last time the internet left her, she was having multiple emotional meltdowns over people calling her out on the advice when it came to the subject of divorce. Because the only thing holding their relationships together is is probably the fact that they made a commitment. You are not at the whims of these men. You can leave and start your own life. You should leave and start your own life if you're not happy with everything. Mia Khalifa, doing some social media influencing on Omegle, got noticed by a bunch of children who started to freak out and chant her name repeatedly. Oh, look at her, flirtatiously posing for the prepubescent children, blissfully unaware of the fact that she is adding poisoning the minds of children across the planet to her list of accolades, which includes glorifying divorce, promoting a lack of accountability in young women, and religious heresy. I think we need to take a second and give a round of applause to Mia Khalifa for what she is doing to planet Earth. to argue with the man who claims he's being logical but all of his logic is usually just a lack of basic empathy huh? what these men cite as common sense is usually just a series of social biases that they have never bothered to analyze or question what the hell are you talking about i have to admit modern feminists are incredibly good at tossing a word salad they just take a whole bunch of gibberish, throw it together in something that slightly resembles a sentence, and then think that they're smarter than you because they know multiple syllable words. And I double checked, there is no rule stating that you cannot be impressed by a woman's blatant idiocy. What they call being objective is usually just a subjective lack of self-awareness. These are the type of dudes who try to turn debate into a competition instead of a gathering of new information, and then they wonder why no one wants to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'd say most men would be impressed over the fact that your vocabulary includes multiple syllable words, but still has no real definition for the word projection. Besides, even if they could stomach being in your orbit for 30 seconds, most of them would just walk away because they know how much of an idiot you are thanks to your poor taste in hair coloring and shoving a metal ring through your septum was a good idea. No, that is not true. Men are slacking. Like, we truly need, like, men content. All the men want to do is get on TikTok or Instagram and lick their lips. Who are you talking at? What are you talking about, you stupid wretch? Men do plenty on YouTube and TikTok. They teach us how to play Sandstorm using a guitar, a fly swatter, and a ceiling fan. They regale us with stories about the history of cheddar cheese, and not to mention the brave men everywhere who sacrifice their times to make fun of stupid morons such as yourself. We don't need that. Teach us how to change a tire. And in this segment, we'll be talking about changing a flat tire. Certainly it's inconvenient, but we're going to walk you through it step by step. Teach me how to change my oil. It's Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the oil in your car or truck. This video is specifically geared to beginners who have never done an oil change, so this is going to be an in-depth video, and after watching it, you'll be able to change your own oil. How do I check my tire pressure? In this video, we're going to be talking about checking and filling your tire pressure. It may be more important than you think. How do I go to home? How do I prepare to go to war? <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Ah, oh, lady, we get it. You were irresponsible with your vehicle, and you spent your hard-earned money on shoes and Louis Vuitton bags instead of paying a mechanic to maintain your vehicle. You don't honestly expect us to believe that you're actually going to change your own oil, right? You're not going to change your own tire, and you're most certainly not going to go to war if it were to ever break out. The problem isn't that men are not showing you what to do in the event that your car breaks down. It's the fact that those men aren't thirst traps. For God's sake, woman, get your priorities straight. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> I 
I've really been struggling lately with like how to date as a feminist to find people who have similar values to me. So I thought it would be funny if when someone matched with me, I sent them a response as if they had submitted an application for a job and they had like another screening process to go through. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Yes, yes, it's horrible, this idea. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. Go ahead and poison an already drying well by politicizing your dating life and adding it to an act that actually is incredibly annoying to most men everywhere. Yeah, Chad and Tyrone are gonna be falling head over heels for this one. But men being men never seem to get the joke. So this is kind of how it went. So I, I tried to be funny. I was like, oh, thanks for submitting your application, right? And then I asked these questions that are important to me and like you need to answer them in a particular way um, if you want to hang out with me. Gentlemen, what brings me to my next point? Don't smoke crack. No, men got the joke. It's just that you're not funny. And the fact that you're adding liberal politics into something that's already stressful for most men isn't helping you any. All this is doing is providing us with fodder to laugh at you because you are actively sabotaging your own dating life. And for the record, no man worth his weight in masculinity is going to look at this and find you to be a desirable partner. And that's not to actually stop you from posting this garbage. We actually encourage you to do so. This is nonstop comedy for guys like us. On top of all of that, it's also a massive time saver because it already shows us the amount of independent thought that you have going through your head. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! And that's gonna do it for today's video, gentlemen and gents. As always, if you find that my particular brand of comedy is bringing you to the brink of laughter, then why don't you scroll on down and click that like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell so we can give the good old-fashioned middle finger to the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for checking out the new video, and until next time, peace out, homies.